Sean had the first two you know, Zappa produced albums. Right. Bizarre, yeah. So as we went, and they didn't want to put him on, I heard. And, and, and Jefferson and Airplane were pissed about something, so Hot Tuna came out instead. It was really falling apart. And Alice Ooh. Cooper came on, and I'll never, ever, I mean, half the audience, left, the other half was just like me. There's a guy in leotards, and he's dancing around, and I just. He had his two guitar I went to I went to the following eight shows. Every show we had played all went to the Capitol Center after that, including the Nova one. And the Nova one, someone stole the sword. He borrowed the sword he used from like Barry Richards, and at the end they were crying, We need that sword back. Who took it? Who took it? And so I think it was a real sword, a valuable sword. I mean, I'll never forget. You were there. That's amazing, isn't it? Is Barry yeah. Richards I might even have pictures from it. You're at, you I, went, were, I took pictures of all those things and everything. Yeah. What, all those guitars were just so freaking amazing. Well, the whole band was. You took pictures they, at the Alexander they, Roller Rink? Not at that one. No. Um, what do I have? House Cooper. I can't remember where I have them from. I've got I've got dolls ones from the uh, AFI theater. That show, the first dolls show in DC. At the I've got it written down at home. I remember. I have a drumstick from it. Where it would either be hit me in the head. He slipped out of his hands. 74. I guess you know it's dark in the audience. And you're sitting there all of a sudden. Two, three, some history falls in my lap, and this is Jerry Nolan's drumstick. Like, oh great! <laughs> but that's it. Yeah, but that was I got some pretty good color slides from that. But the, so Alice Cooper's first show was at Northern Virginia Community no, College? No, no, actually, yeah, actually on the mall. But, uh, you know, remember all the free concerts used to be down across in the Treasury Building on the mall down oh, there? That Not Plaza? Treasury, I'm calling it the other. Uh, well, the not you mean Constitu the Library of Congress? No, no. Where, where's the, where's the uh, Constitution Hill, the building where that's in? Oh, it's the uh, so it's Interior Department over there? No, it's on the left here, you know, if you're facing the Capitol Building. Oh, the Commerce Department. No, not Commerce. I mean, that, that's La Plaza. I guess it well, is a library. It is a library of Congress. Yeah, you're facing yeah. the Capitol, that's a library. Yeah, that's it. Because they still have concerts they have free, they John Fahey free. plays there like every week. Oh, well, they had free concerts. That's where all the hippies, you know, the free concerts right. were down there for years. And the girl I used to know in, in high school there, we used to go down there all the time. Lots of bands like, which I found out recently I was pissed about. Oh, I was, we were gone. Uh, Sage Drums had a reunion? No, I didn't know about that. No, I didn't know about that. I didn't, it was at the Strathmore. I didn't know about it. First I've heard of it. You used to go see them all. I got slides of them. You used to see them all the time. It was one of my favorite local bands. But anyway, they used wow, to play. They used to play down there. Wow. But Nova, Nova might have been the first actual real concert concert. That was yeah, his first like where he was the headliner. His tour. So to speak. Did you see the Who at the Alexandria Roller Ring? Pete yeah. Kennedy told me he saw the Who there. What? He saw like Humble Pie. I don't think so. He did. You saw Who? Kennedy. He said in the mid '60s he saw the Who at the Alexandria Roller Ring. Yardbirds were there. He saw that. He, Pete Kennedy was. He's like five, four or five. He's like your age, that much older than me. So he was, but you weren't living here then, but he was. Yeah, that's the problem. So he used to see a lot of these mid '60s shows. He may have even seen the Beatles at DC Stadium. I can't remember if he said he saw that or not. No, that was at the Armory. No, no, they actually, I think. No, it was at the Armory. Yeah, I think it was the Armory. Their first show was at the Armory. What high school did you go to? Fairfax. So you went to the, uh, what was it, Community Center? Maybe. Northern Virginia Community College. That's the, uh, that was where all the concerts were? No, they, they had some there, but Woodrow Wilson High School used to have concerts like uh, Bob Seger and T. Gardner and Van Winkle or whatever those guys were. He's uh, older. A few others in play there. Yeah, but, but then they, uh, yeah, they started doing the bigger shows at the Alexandria Roller Rink. Yeah. Yeah. So. That would have been like Humble yeah, Pie. Last time you played 930 Club, you did that. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm doing, doing a project on King there. Crimson. Oh, yeah? Where are you? I was all my brothers. Yeah, I went to that. It was the Who. I went to both of them. And it was, yeah. and it was 73. Okay. So me and my friends were thinking, should we go to the Allman Brothers and Who? So we decided we are going to go see the Who. So I can remember the first, I don't know, year the Capitol Center was open, there was no reserved seat. Right. Just it was all festival seat. Seat wherever you want. Right. So I remember walking in, and there's a band playing. And I walk 
right up to the front of the stage, and this band playing. These guys have this really long hair, but they have three guitar players. And I've never seen a band with three guitar players, so I just walk up to this kid, and I go, hey, who is this band? And he goes, Leonard Skinner. I said, never heard of him. He goes, me either. <laughs> Leonard Skinner. I said, yeah. never heard of They opened up for yeah. The Who on the Quadrophenia tour. Yeah, and, and that was, and it was, it was festival seating, and it was like you could walk around. Walk, and, and that's what and, I did. And my thing is, I went, I got right in front, and I was standing in front of Pete Townsend, just watching everything yeah. Yeah. he did. And everything, every note, everything he played, everything was meant something. His playing was so economical. And also, was he was like, very angry. He looked like he was... Or intense. Yeah, it was very intense. And remember, their first set was Quadrophenia, and either him or Roger Daltrey, yeah. after every song, would say, The story's so far. Yeah. And everybody was going, Shut, Shut up, up and play! play. Yeah. Shut up and play! The whole set. Yeah. And then they took a little break, came out, and like, did new songs and everything. Yeah. It was great. I, I remember quite well. And then the, the Almond Brothers the night before that. And I, you know, I can remember saying, Wow, what a great new place, man. Well, it's great. Yeah. Capital Center. Yeah. Then I saw it not too long after that. I saw a giant winter there. And then they changed it. They had seating for Johnny Winter, right. and I remember this. We were like belly aching about the prices. It was four fifty, five fifty, and six fifty for the different for the different yeah. areas of seating. I was like, God! I tell you, let's buy the four fifty tickets and go down front. Yeah, yeah. which of course we all did. You know, well, I can remember when the Rolling Stones played there in seventy five. I uh, was at that. Was that the Big Penis tour? Yeah, and I can remember, yeah. I couldn't get tickets because they sold out. I remember paying $20 wow. for scalp tickets, and I said, $20? Jesus <laughs> Christ! I couldn't believe it, and they sucked. Yeah. The only terrible. two good people in that band were Billy Preston and Ron Wood, who was trying out. Yeah, I'd seen him was in a real member three months yeah. before I saw him do the Faces farewell tour, wow. and they were a hundred times better than the Rolling Stones. So what? What's that? Did you see the stuff in the in 72? I did. It's 4th of July. Yeah, that's yeah. Stevie Wonder. Yeah, and, Stevie uh, Wonder. I was there. I, remember, I was down in the field. I remember it was at, at it was DC Stadium. Yeah. It wasn't RFK, it was DC uh, Stadium. Uh, but they, they, hadn't changed, they hadn't changed the name yeah. yet. And we were down in the field. If you want to get correct about when the Who played there, <laughs> it was. It, it was called the Largo Center? Yeah, 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 before it was the Capitol Center. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> and, and then, uh, so what was, was it at, the, at DC Stadium on the, on the field? We were down in the field. and. So everybody was like, they had bottle rockets and cherry bombs and shit like that, and they were up in the in the upper decks throwing them down on, on, the, on top of us. <laughs> really? I'll never forget that. I'm like, oh man, this sucks. Yeah. Boom! Oh man, what? You know.